Yo, what's up? It's me, Steve. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your regular horizontal videos to fit Instagram TV. Keep watching. Man, it's been a long time coming and now you can finally upload videos longer than just one minute on Instagram using IGTV. Just go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store to actually download the IGTV app. And I think it's a good thing for creators to be more creative on Instagram. You'll find out more about the IGTV app uh, by going to the description right below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So let me show you now how to edit your videos to fit Instagram TV. Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using Final Cut Pro 10 in this tutorial just to show you exactly you know, how to change or, or edit or even convert your uh, video so it can actually fit inside of Instagram TV. So, so again here, I'm using uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and what I gotta do first, let me go ahead and grab a video clip here. Here's, some, here's a video clip where I was out on the Las Vegas Strip one day getting some just some B-roll footage. I had a a uh, pretty cool little rig on my on my back getting a uh, you know a different type of view uh, for the camera so you know it came out pretty good so what I'm, we're going to use this as the example here and as you can see uh, it's actually in the the 1080p or horizontal type of uh, I guess you can say dimension that we normally see videos like on YouTube and and even other platforms but what we got to do we got to change it to that vertical type of platform that's you know pretty specific um you know really that a lot of people use of course that instagram uses for for instagram you know tv so we got to change it to the vertical form right so we got to make that change and the way that we can actually do that there are several ways here's one that's pretty simple uh, of course i just drag my video in here and what i got to do now is i go to window just go up here to the make sure you click on your your video file here go to window um, and then from there, you want to go to Project Properties. When I go to Project Properties, I want to go to Modify. Click on the Modify button, and it's going to actually bring up some different properties within this project, right? It's going to give me the name and some other information, things that I can change or edit, or in terms of the dimensions is what we really need to do at this, at this point. And so the way that you do that, it's really, really simple. As you can see, currently the resolution for this video is 1920 by 1080. Okay, that's the resolution. This gives you gives you that pretty cool horizontal look that you see in a lot of your videos, like on YouTube. But what we got to do, we got to change it for Instagram TV. So what we're gonna have to do, where it says video here, we want to click on where it says 1080p. We click on that and we're gonna hit custom. All right, and the dimensions that you want to use, those dimensions are 1080 by 1350. Okay. And we'll keep the frame rate and everything the same. And you just hit OK. And what's going to happen, it's going to change it. So as you can see, the dimensions of the video has changed. However, of course, this, and I can do it like this if I wanted to. I can maybe put some cool lettering up here or whatever. You know how you just put different letters and stuff over your videos. I can put some at the top and some at the bottom. You've seen videos like that before. But what I want to do, I want to just make this, this, this whole section you know just the video itself okay so the what, what the way that I'm gonna do that of course I already have it selected and all I gotta do is come over here and scale it up right and there are some other ways I can, you can do you can do this as well but I'm just keeping it simple so I'm just trying to keep me here in the center so now if I you know if I let me just uh, bring the volume down on that and now if I just hit play now you can actually see so uh, perfect and so now all I have to do in this video guys is just export it so so from here uh, let me just pause it and and all I have to do I'll come up here to file I just share I'm just gonna share it as a master file here and when I click on that it's gonna bring up another you know window here give it a second here there we go so uh, as you can see here so what I want to do I want to go into settings and I want to make sure um, that we are definitely on computer. Okay, make sure it's on computer. You can even do video and audio if you wanted to, but I'll just keep it on, you know, on on computer. That's going to, you know, create an MP or MPEG-4 uh, video here. 
So um, you want to make sure it's on computer. You can make some adjustments here and there if you want to, but I typically just keep it all the same. And then from here, I'm just going to hit next. It's going to give me a name here, and I'll just call this one just in case I need to do another example. Save. And, and then we'll give it a few moments here to actually render. And once it's done rendering, we should have that video. And then on, from there, it'll just be just a video that's on my computer. Then I can move it to my iPhone or my Android, however you want to do that, whether if you, you plug up your, your phone to your computer. But again, here's the video. There's the video there, guys. Uh, real good quality there, as you can tell. And uh, I'll be able to use this video. I can actually... Uh, put this, this video on my phone and, um, and then from my gallery, I'll be able to upload it straight into Instagram, uh, TV. And it's, it's actually, you know, uh, formatted perfectly for the dimensions of Instagram TV. And, uh, so that's how you can do it. And the cool thing again about Instagram TV, now you can do up to, um, you know, like an hour worth of video. Uh, remember before you can only do like a minute. So now it gives you the ability to be a little bit more creative, actually a lot more creative, so pretty cool deal there, guys. That's pretty much how you do it. It might vary in terms of some of the steps versus, um, you know, if you're using a different type of platform other than Final Cut Pro 10. But I assure you there are different ways of how you can change the, the dimensions of your video. And again, those dimensions are, are basically uh, 1080 by 1350. And um, save it, export it, then you'll be ready to go to upload that video. As you can see, pretty simple process. If you like the info, give it a quick thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.